Consolidated Statement of Profit and Loss and Other Cooperative Income. Now, we look at the additional information number 5 with regard to the goodwill. Next, the adjustment for the impairments of goodwill. Impairment loss occurs when a business asset suffers a depreciation in fair market value in excess of the book value of the assets on the company's financial statement. Factors that can lead to impairment are change in legal or economic conditions, a change in consumer demand, or damage that impacts an asset. Impairment loss is an expenses to the group. So, in terms of the preparations of the consolidated statement of profit and loss and other cooperative income, the impairment loss is treated as expenses. For the fifth additional information, goodwill on consolidation was 180,000. The impairment estimated loss is RM27. This, this 27,000 will be treated as expenses. Here, you can look into the preparations of the statement of profit and loss in other cooperative income, whereby we have to deduct the impairment of the goodwill from the gross profit that we have determined. 